One of the most consistent ways to attack both main coverage and zone coverage in Madden is to have quick dots or horizontal passing concepts. And so I uh, really wanted to dive deep in this with you guys today out of one of my favorite plays out of the tight slots halfback week formation. You can apply this concept to pretty much any offense that you run, but it's really important because it allows you to be able to attack both man coverage and zone coverage, as well as any kind of pressure. If you can attack a defense horizontally, you are gonna be able to dot most blitzing concepts uh, because they just literally don't have the zone defenders to be able to defend uh, what you're putting out on the field. Now, if you wanna get my entire tight slot tap back week offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is gonna be in the description. For just 10 bucks, you're gonna get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, let's take a look at this play here. This is four verticals out of uh, tight slots, and it's gonna kind of showcase this concept that I'm really, um, I just have been really falling in love with right now in Madden just because of how hard uh, it is to defend it, uh, whether it be out of man zone or any kind of pressure. So again, four verticals is the play. And the setup for this play um, is fairly simple. All you're gonna need to do is you're gonna post your um, you're gonna post your left side uh, player, which in this example is going to be Harold Carmichael. You're then going to put this backside receiver on either an in route or a hitch route. Um, I think the hitch route is the most consistent for how we're gonna attack in this in this uh, setup. And then you're gonna put your running back on a ghost route. Now that ghost route could also just be that option route that he's already on, uh, but I think the ghost route is better uh, for being able to kind of really space the field horizontally. Now your first read off the snap here uh, is really these wheel routes. These two wheel routes on both sides of the field, you can snap throw them against man. And as you can see, uh, they're actually really consistent. Now, the other thing that I wanna show you about these wheel routes is what you can do with tackle battles. So um, nine times out of 10, if you throw these wheel routes, then the first tackle animation is going to be some type of tackle battle. And so if you spam the X button on PlayStation, or if you spam the A button on Xbox, you are going to nine times out of 10 uh, win the tackle battle. Now, this hitch route, I know it doesn't look like much, but if they press you in man coverage, that hitch route fairly consistently is going to cause a natural pick on this play, making it even more lethal against man. Now, if they give you something like this, this is where the tackle battles are more likely. For some reason, I'm not getting any of them in this video, uh, but trust me, you wanna be spamming the X button on PlayStation or the A button on Xbox as soon as you get snapped. Um, there you see right there, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And you get these instant tackle battles and then you're able to get off of the off of it relatively quickly. Now, again, let's say that they go down into maybe some cover zero pressure, right? Send five or send six uh, man blitzes. These routes should destroy that. Cause again, you see instant tackle battle, I'm spamming X and then there's no one really there. And this can turn into a really, really, really big play. Now, the only way to stop these wheel routes is to shade your coverage underneath, okay? Uh, they pretty much have to shade their coverage underneath. You'll see here, shade down man coverage. But even that, it doesn't really, it, it, it's not like the wheel routes out a bunch. The wheel routes in tight are certainly, they're significantly different than the wheel routes out a bunch. Um, because they're longer, they run for longer. There's more, um, there's more route, uh, there's more uh, width in the routes. And so even if they do shade down, you should be able to throw these routes against man coverage relatively consistently. Now, if you do, um, if you do for whatever reason, like let's say they shade down in man coverage, maybe they drop some hard flats, right? They're really trying to stop your wheel routes, right? Uh, most people will just stop running man. But if they don't stop running man and you do have time in the pocket, this route on the left side can be a dot over the top against uh, shade down man. As you see there, he's gonna get that leverage over the top, uh, over the top of the route against shaded down man. So that's another thing that they have to kind of respect about the concept is even if they shade down, it doesn't mean that they're going to uh, be able to defend this every single time, as you can see right here. And then typically what I would want to do there is I'd want to highball that wheel. And I'll show you what I'm talking about one more time here. But again, you got to understand how to throw these wheels against man coverage because it will make your offense 10 times better, specifically at a tight slot. So if you understand how to throw these, again, I'm going to shade underneath. And all you're going to do is look to the left here. You see that little rub? You can throw that with a high point. A lot of times that can get an, be coming over the shoulder catch animation on that side. Another thing I want to quickly just reiterate 
is even if they're shading down in man coverage, if you free form this route, it's going to catch it like a flat route and it's rarely going to be intercepted uh, in a shaded down situation. Now, let's say that they flip flop who's on who. Um, I think this is probably the best way to adjust to this where they flip flop who is on who in man. You'll see here, okay, now that plays a little better. Why? Because he has leverage to the flat. That's the main reason. Um, okay, so that's that's the, the main thing against a man blitz. Uh, I will say that if they cover the wheel routes in man blitz, and they're able to lurk themselves back in the middle of the field, these hitches aren't exactly great um, against man coverage. So you see here, if they did them like this, you can freeform underneath, that's shaded down man. Uh, you could you could freeform basically pass lead, precision pass that down uh, to get the guy to come back to the ball. But if they're sending five in man coverage, uh, typically, uh, you know, you're if you break one tackle, you're gone. Like you just quick throw this, break a tackle, and you're you you've got a big play ahead of you. Okay. So I've talked enough about this against man coverage, but what about other coverages? So let's say for example that they start to run um, you know, all kinds of different zones, but basically the simple answer is this. This is going to stretch the field super horizontally. So what you're going to see here is this ghost route is really, really going to be OP. It's going to be super effective. It just attacks zone coverage really, really well. It doesn't really matter what zone coverage it is. Uh, and it's because it's paired with this post. So the post is going to basically stretch the yellow zones vertically. And then this ghost route is just going to sit in a soft spot, as you can see right there. And then those wheel routes are pulling the flat zones out of the middle of the field. Again, one of the most important things that I can ever teach you about Madden, especially the offensive side of the ball, is understanding how your routes will space the field. And when you can understand that, you'll see here, here's the hard flat. Well, look what I can do on the outside there. I can throw that wheel route. Now, I would want to throw that a little bit faster than I did, um, but I can throw these wheel routes because what will happen, especially if you're on the short side of the field, what I've noticed is hard flats, um, the ghost route will pull hard flats. So you can just highball this up and outside. And as you can see, it gets in that soft spot, that soft pocket uh, against the defense. Now, what about if your opponent uh, is running some type of, you know, double Mabel and they're gonna, they're just, they're just kind of running some double Mabel concepts and they're going to use the post route on the left side of the screen. Then you are going to trust me and throw this hitch route. This hitch route's gonna be super open. You just take your hitch route and you're up and uh, and moving. Now, what about a zone pressure? So let's say that they send some zone pressure at you. Typically, if they bit, if they are gonna blitz you in zone, chances are they're going to have to go guard. Um, they're gonna gonna have to go guard the post route because that's a high ball. You wanna look at that post route. If that's open off the snap, if they're playing flats, you've got the post. Uh, you can high ball that if they aren't going to use that. If they do go user that, really the main read, and they normally will go user that, is that hitch right on the right. Most people don't expect that hitch right on the right, and that's why it's so good. Again, I do want to quickly say, if they are consistently running man-to-man, -man, go ahead and put that right side receiver on an in route so that he comes underneath, and they now have to have some responsibility either for the in route or for the post route. But guys, this, this play is super good. It's really good against man um, it's really, really good against zone. This post route absolutely just destroys uh, man coverage and zone coverage of the middle field. It's one of the best passing concepts in the game. Horizontal passing concept out of tight. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, head down to the description of the video and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.